All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you the uh, the GQ 5200 that I got from MCO Mall. And I'm going to mess around with uh, this SMD card here and uh, test out the... Uh, the hot air gun on the rework station there it is you guys GQ 5200 so I haven't turned it on yet we're gonna do everything together I did get this packaged uh, with it there's with a few other goodies and everything but it's tweezers and it's in uh, Japanese you see that and we're gonna open this together too I'll keep that package and re-glue it. Alright, there's a little uh, little thing on it. I'll keep that aside. And that'll be for uh, grabbing one of these little deals here down there. Poking out of it. Alright. So... It says uh, to remove the unit bottom silver color fixture screws. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Did all that. Connected the handle here. Uh, I'm on high, you know, do not place unit in high humidity, dusty, direct sunlight. Be certain, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, so for a Celsius display, turn the temperature control knob clockwise. Connect the cord. It should read out everything. All right, let's do that. There we go. Revision. It said Fahrenheit. I didn't want that. Well, Fahrenheit's good too, so it's heating up. Oh, that's for the uh, no, no wonder. And it gets hotter. Let's try uh, 375 here. Oh, it's getting hot. I didn't get no solder paste and stuff yet, that's coming. Oh, and it came with uh, hooks up to here, soldering iron. Brand new, nice little tip one there. It's, I did, you turn it on here, but I'm not going to turn it on. Alright, I'll do one here and then I'll rearrange the camera so you can see a little better here. It doesn't feel hot to me. Let's increase the temperature. Try 400. 400 and so Turn the blower up a little bit more. We're at 500 for 474 degrees. Increase the temperature. Five 
145 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hotter than most ovens. There we go. Alright, so it's going to stay on to cool down, but holy crap, really? So, I got it out right here. Oh, it looks like it broke. Oh no, it's intact. It's friggin' small. <laughs> All right, so just take the camera out of the tripod here. So there it is, the GQ 5200 hot air and soldering SMD rework station. It's cooling down, even though it's off. It'll cool down until. Until it reaches a safe temperature so anyways here's the little resistor all right there it is the little tiny resistor right here now to make my job easier I will be getting a, a hot tweezers set that plugs right into uh, the GQ 5200 in the uh, the solder part here where the uh, solder gun is or the soldering iron rather so what I'll be able to do let's move that aside is um, where's the area that I took this from anyways I'd be able to uh, Take the uh, hot tweezers and grab a resistor from, you know, from both sides here and it'll warm up, solder will melt and easy removal. So I'll be getting that soon. So yeah, you guys, that is awesome. Where did I extract? Oh, right there. Okay. So this is where I extracted the the little resistor in this portion right here. Sorry about that, right there. Yeah. I'll build a stand so I'd you know I'll be able to see a little closer. I'm gonna build a USB microscope and um, and position the camera above and probably have two uh, videos going here with the webcam zoomed in and the the camera right here for witnessing so I'll be able to put it on YouTube and now after I do that I'll be able to uh, finally repair Buddy's uh, JVC boombox there's an IC that I have to replace it's similar to this size right here so then I could uh, you know grab the blower work on that side work on this side until the solder comes out and then I'll be able to pop it out there you see so I got the the new chip and I'll take the you know the old chip out put the new chip in and use some uh, solder paste and flux to uh, you know And then I'll be able to uh, use the uh, hot air gun and uh, finally be able to uh, fix his stereo. Alright you guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.